everybody We've got the chat. Welcome back to another vlog. I am officially out of my reading slump. It, well, I woke up this morning, by the way. I know you guys saw the storms. They were crazy. The camera was not even picking up how crazy they were. Um, Coco, we finally found like a mobile groomer that I felt comfortable for going to since surgery and whatever. And she's about to be shaved, which like is what needs to happen because all of her fur because of the surgery is all different lengths. And then because she has to wear her cone, it mats. It's just like a whole thing. So anyways, she's getting shaved. But the book slump, it's over. It's crazy. I'm in an amazing mood this week because it's like rainy, you know, and not like 105 degrees. Um, so anyways, I was woken up by the storm pretty early and I, oh, gotta get my cottage cheese out. At the farmer's market, I really wanted to get like their jam, but I just forgot. Imagine how good the jam would be with the cottage cheese, you know? So anyway, it was just such a cozy morning. Reading and finishing my book, I stayed <laughs> just in a really cozy mood. Um, oh, I stayed up last night late reading my book. Like, I'm obsessed. It's by Ella Mays. I haven't even told you guys the book. It's by Ella Mays. Um, it's the Charlie book or whatever. It's on my Instagram, my bookstagram, at Gay E Book Club. Like, so good. And I need to read another one because apparently she has one with the grumpy sunshine trope. And I love Grumpy Sunshine. I'm actually not really into enemies to lovers. I mean, I read them, and if I like the book, I like the book. But, like, something about that I'm not into. Grumpy Sunshine, like, I, I die for it. I don't know what that says about me. Probably something, like, not great. Coco is getting groomed by a mobile groomer right now. And I have got to start getting to work. Even though all I want to do is continue to read Ella's books. But I'm not going to do that because I need to work. I have a facial today, later, and I do have a workout. I've worked out like four times in the past two days, so if I make, well, I'll make it there if I feel like it. My farmer's working on me. Okay guys, here's the deal. I went on to find the book that I felt like I needed to read that I had seen at the end of the other book I just finished by Ella, right? And look, these are the ones I recommend. To love Jason Thorne, love. To hate Adam Con Connor, love. Charlie, love and cliches, loved. Okay, I want to read Marriage for One because that's the grumpy sunshine trope. But look at the cover, okay? And I have a bookstagram, so once I finish this, I have to post that I read this book. That is, like, you guys understand. It's just embarrassing. Like, is there not an alternative cover? Like, we don't have anything else going for us. Like, we didn't want to do one of these new trendy ones. Like, no, guess not. I'm gonna stop the Firestone or... <sighs> I need everyone to go into this clip with a very open mind and be very kind to Coco. Because she looks like Dobby the Elf. I have a sweater on her because she has no fur so she was cold. When he gave her back to me, I didn't even recognize her. Like, girl, it's gonna be okay. Gonna be okay. Like she literally looks like Dobby the Elf. Also, like the reason I tan, I just feel up. I feel like I look so much better with a tan. You know what I mean? But anyways, yeah, this is the girly. For those wondering, long story short, she had IBD surgery two months ago, and we're in PT for her legs. I did see them move a little bit last week, so that's good. But she mainly want, either wants to be in her crate or crate trained, or just like sitting with me because she obviously can't. It's really sad. I'm sure that probably like really like upset some of you guys to see that. That's just my everyday with her. I'm like used to it. We were just doing her exercises. I haven't even gotten out of my pajamas yet because I, I've just been staring at her like. But honestly, she's the best because she really needed to be shaved. She was looking not great. I'm sure she's gonna feel better. Her hair will grow back and it's gonna be like whatever, you know? It's, it's gonna be whatever. But jail, literally jail. <sighs> Finished editing my vlog and I just took a shower and washed my hair. 
I used, I was influenced by Lauren Bostick um, to use this Wella Professionals Ultimate Repair. And she does like a vacation bun with it, like a wet bun, leaves it in your hair, whatever. Um, I just did this, okay, these, I got microfiber towels to dry my hair from Amazon originally, and I really liked them. And then Kitsch sent me this one, and this one is so much better because it's bigger and it's just better quality. I'll link both below because I'm not sure like price points, um, but I really love like having these. This is basically like a glow up week. I'm like scrubbing my body clean of my tan. I have a tan on Thursday evening. Tonight I'm getting a facial, I'm going to pedicure, get my brows done. We are going to Fort Worth and Vegas this weekend. So a lot is happening. So we're doing a nice glow up. I also need to be drinking bone broth every day. I just like normally love bone broth and the thought of drinking it right now just like disturbs me because it's hot outside. I don't know. Um, but I just like, I don't know, I'm not feeling myself right now. I have like pretty bad breakouts. I don't know what's happening. So hopefully my hydrofacial helps with that. Um, I'm doing the deluxe one so there's like the LED lights and stuff, which actually my LED mask, that's what I need to pull out too, helps me a ton. Anyways, I'm gonna make some lunch and then we're gonna head off to get a pedicure and a facial. I actually hate doing these things because you have to just like sit there, but I'm only getting a pedicure so I can at least read. Just made a quick little lunch. It's what I made basically for dinner last night. I have cauliflower rice and then I have my butcher box, of course ground beef with some bone broth, some coconut amino, some seasonings, and then broccoli. It doesn't look amazing, but it's so good. All right, we have another summer storm, guys. I just love rain in the summer because it doesn't happen that often. It obviously cools down, it's in the 70s here. It feels amazing, my hair is still wet, but it smells so good from that Wella stuff. I've also been using the Glimmer hair mask that Kate Davis always talks about. Um, on Instagram, I've been using that once a week on my hair and my sister said my hair is like noticeably healthier and thicker So I will link that below because I actually have noticed a big difference and my sister does my hair So that actually means something Anyways, I just got my brows done Love that and a pedicure finally I've been I've been home for a couple of hours my skin is glowing like I mean, obviously I have breakouts and stuff, but my actual skin is just glowing. This Lux Unfiltered Lip Balm is amazing. So I got some work done. It's now seven and I am taking myself to bed to read, but I got some books in the mail today that I ordered on Amazon. First one is a grilling cookbook from Food 52. I love Food 52. It's any night grilling, 60 ways to fire up dinner and more. I have so many cookbooks, and I actually just genuinely love cookbooks, which I feel like a couple years ago I bought them for like the look, or you'd buy them and like not look through it, and then you would Google a recipe. And I still like definitely have gotten recipes online, but just as time goes on, one, I love cookbooks, like actually, it sounds so stupid, but like actually picking out a recipe and following it from a book versus your phone. The act of going through a cookbook, it's very relaxing, and then just having things on hand that I know I wanna make, and then also, I like having the least amount of technology as possible in the kitchen. That's why like, I love a recipe journal, because even if I like pick a recipe from online, I'll write it in my recipe journal if I like, like it enough. And then it's just cute because you can pass it down or whatever. It's like literally my favorite thing ever. Anyways, this is my new grilling cookbook. And then I also got, oh, two books on gardening, because I am going to be starting a garden here on my side yard right here. I've been going through it and just like seeing where the light is hitting every single day and it's actually like a really good place. So this one is just growing a life of beauty and wonders of flowers, um, which I love. And then this is just raised bed gardening for beginners. My grandma has basically taught me everything I know about gardening. She's gotten into it in recent years, um, but it's still just like nice. I like reading up on this stuff. Like when I have like a hair appointment or something and I'm not working, like I bring books like this and I actually do read them, and I actually really like them. Also, my arrow garden came in today. I'm going to set this up, not today, but soon, um, and give you guys like, more about it. Basically, you have these pods. So it's like a seed pod kit, so they sent me three. So I have some for jalapeno peppers, herbs, which I really just want the herbs. 
And then this is like salad greens, which is so cool. And this arrow garden. So I'll take you guys through this when I actually set this up. Also, today I got the most exciting package. I don't actually know how to pronounce it. It is my favorite. How do I pronounce that? Let me know. It's my favorite goat cheese. They sent me three um, goat cheeses, but I love stuff like this, like blueberry lemon goat cheese. My mom's always had this stuff on cheese boards. It is so good and it's such a crowd fave. Great for dinner parties if you just like set this out with some crackers and whatever. Make a very small mini cheese board. It is so good. But they adopted a farm goat on my behalf. So this is Bruce. Everyone say hello to Bruce. Love him so much. It's my new pet goat. He likes binge watching reality TV. He's a Scorpio. Love everything about this. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. It's 7 a.m. I have my coffee. I'm on my way to my workout. I'm pretty sure Macy's in this class. Today, we just have some meetings, some things to take care of. Try on some clothes that I got sent, but that might be pushed off to tomorrow. It will just depend. The weather has been so weird. Like, everyone's hating it, but I'm, like, obviously living for it. Also, by the way, look at how much better my skin looks. Like, my breakouts have gotten so much smaller. And it's glowing so much better. Dramani Preston Hollow, use my name and you get some sort of, you get money off and they have everything. They have laser, they have filler, they have injections, they have like Botox, I mean they have literally everything, hydrofacial, chemical peels, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, amazing. It is now Wednesday at 9 a.m. and I am sitting here getting some work done. I'm probably gonna be working from here a lot. I cleaned and I tried on my Vegas dresses and they work. Like, I actually like my outfits. I only have two that I've like decided we'll pack tomorrow, but I feel good. I obviously have a Nancy Myers playlist on. I am working, as you guys saw. Let's make this like maybe a little bit cuter. Yeah, sure, we're doing something there. I am about to jump on a meeting in one minute, actually. I'm working on something. I haven't talked about this at all, but it's like impossible for me to not tell you guys everything. And if I'm doing one thing that is like a secret, I feel like I'm just lying to you guys and I have like nothing to talk about because I talk about my life. But a lot of changes are happening and I'm launching something, just something cool is happening. I'm launching something cool. Um, as of right now, like late summer, Probably like September ish, August, September, I don't know. Um, but this is like one of the calls for it. And I feel like that's kind of why I've also been absent because I'm just so bad at like not talking about every I don't know how to describe it. Like maybe I just like overshare. Maybe that's what it is. I love working at a dining table, like a big table. I just had such a good meeting um with host, which is like one of my I'm finally making myself drink my bone broth, guys. Like it took me this long. But it's like one of my favorite brands. If you guys don't know about them, I talked about them on my like how I host dinner parties podcast episode, which you guys should go listen to. It's like my pride and joy and the thing that I love the most in life. And anyways, we're just gonna call for some stuff, but we're gonna like do a little dinner, I think, for fun in Dallas with like a lot of other like entrepreneurs in Dallas. It's gonna be fun. I'm very excited. I'm in like such a good mood now because it was just like, you know, when you're like talking to someone and then you just like keep coming up with like even better ideas of how we both were. And it was fabulous. So anyways, I have another meeting very soon. Look how cute. This mug is, I got one on Etsy. Um, and I'm gonna continue on I'm making some mood board. Like I'm just like really excited for where like work stuff is heading. And I'm feeling really good about it. And I'm also loving the posting two times a week on here again. That is fun. I don't know what's weird, because like I actually genuinely love bone broth, but now that I like need to drink it for my skin, it like makes me like, ew, I don't like it anymore. You know what I mean? Like I don't know where that came from, but I love bone broth. Like I love kettle and fire, that's my favorite one. I love bona fide provisions as well. Kettle and fire is just like easier. Um, because I don't like freezing, unfreezing, you know, the whole thing. Oh, speaking of, I have to get some chicken out because I'm making uh, Macy and my dinner tonight. And of course, it is butcher box, butcher box.
Everybody had a hard year Nobody got their pain But a time for the lonely ones Fitz is back from his bath. I feel more put together. Like I don't know what, I think I put my hair up and I feel more put together. He looks very handsome. Don't you? I got a PR package from Barbie, guys. Look at how cute. If you guys saw the drama on Macy's TikTok, first of all, if you don't follow Macy's TikTok, like it is genuinely the funniest account ever. I get texts from everyone that I introduce her to after they meet her and they're like, wait, like she's everyone's favorite. Um, her whole TikTok is a bit like everything she says is a joke. So she like made a TikTok about why she like wasn't cast in Barbie as if like it was gonna happen. Um, so I just made a TikTok about how she's ruining her own career and I won't. Um, and I'll be taking the Barbie PR. There ain't no two stones the same. I'll be alright. Just threw the vegetables on the grill. I got you on my shoulder. All right, guys, this is what we made for dinner. Zucchini, broccolini, chicken. Macy made this salad that she's so excited for me to try. And then we're drinking Olipop or beer. Always. It's because they didn't measure it to Kate's standards. It's totally fine. Oh, I wish you would have told me. Actually, I did have you bring salad because I have farmer's market, like, salad stuff. Oh. Well, I need to use this. I forgot I had that. I actually needed to use it today. Oh, I made my sa a salad today salad. because you made me make one for lunch because I couldn't use apples yeah. for the salad. Um, and it was fabulous. It looks so good. Yeah. It's in there. Yeah, we're gonna like watch a podcast or something. This looks so good. Welcome to TCV Live. I don't know you ready. Hi, sorry. Can I have one second? Anything else? That's it. Ready for you at the Thank you. I would kill for an ice cream cake right now. I don't even like ice cream, it looks like it. So we were at Marble Slab the other day, Dom and I, and I saw it and I was like, oh my god, like, did you, you didn't have Marble Slab. But did you guys, like, growing up, like, Cold Stone? Yeah, Cold Did you have, like, a ice cream cake phase for birthday yeah. parties? Yeah, oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, I really missed that. Wait, wait, I'm trying to film, like, a deed. Yo. Hey, you've been doing so much. Oh, I was wondering. It's oh. on me. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. I know you've been going through it. Going through <laughs> it! That's crazy, but, okay. Okay, oh, you Yes, please. I was wondering what you were filming. <laughs> Thank you so much, Macy. I'm so blessed. This wide angle, guys, that she films me in, can I just film what I look like right now? Because whenever I'm on the side, it gets me on like the little like the, curve. You know, there's never been a comment about that, ever. No, there's never been a comment, but it's just something that I notice when I watch Macy myself. Macy thinks she looks really pretty right now, so she just wants to be on camera. Actually, hey, you really do look really pretty. <laughs> Nice of you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. No, but you have the wide angle, and sometimes I'll be watching myself, and I'm like, what was that? Because I'm always in the corner. I'm kind of like curved, and it's kind of just like. <laughs> so I just want to say hi. I'm here, and we're getting um, frozen yogurt right now. Go. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. We're not eating this yet because we have to wait to oh, get no, home to watch Julian Hunter's birth, birth vlog. Yeah. It's 52 minutes, and we're, we're really watching excited. every we're watching every single ad all the way through. We're gonna make sure this baby has a good life. Yes. You know what's like really big of me too is like I'm gonna be watching this until like past my like reading time. So that's how you know I'm like really serious about this. Yeah, wait guys, I know we've made jokes before like on the vlog about like how I don't read, but I actually am gonna start reading what? Mm -hmm. No, I'm sighing at you. Oh, I thought you were just talking to a car. No, I'm just um <laughs> As you guys know, I'm now just a creative powerhouse 24-7. No, but working in social media full-time now, if you guys think I'm not an influencer. <gasps> Sorry. Like, what are you saying? <laughs> guys, Macy is an influencer and she also works for Spritz okay. for their social Sorry. media. I, just, I, run, I run Spritz's social media full-time now and it just requires me to be a little bit more creative. But with that, my best ideas come at nighttime. And so it'll be like midnight and I'm like writing ideas down in my notes pad. So I'm gonna become a reader. So if you guys have beginner friendly book recs, Kenzie's given me some, but I want like Junie B. Jones. No, I'm kidding. I can read, but I just want it to be like I a good story. I have given you the best book I, I know, I know. I'm gonna take them. Like who? Everyone goes to me for book. Recs. I know, I know. I like guess, even in our like. I guess lives. this is my way of boosting your engagement and oh, thank you. Um, letting everyone know that I'm Wait, a creative guys, do powerhouse. You think, do you think that Macy? I, I go back and forth on this. Do you think that Macy would like Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo? Yeah, Seven I Husbands. I think you would, but it's I don't know. It might feel a little bit old for you because it's like an old woman, and I just picture you like wanting to read about like high schoolers. Like 
a little like 16 year old like having her first kiss. He's like a summer I turned pretty. Yeah, yeah. no. I've heard it's good. I, I just, heard that you have to get into it. Yeah, and that no, bores me. Whenever someone's like, you have to get into it, I'm like, I've given up. So the first time I tried to read it, I read the first couple of pages and I was like, oh, I'm not into it, whatever. And then the next day or like the next month or whatever, I was like, okay, I'm going to try to read this book. I read the entire book in half a day. Like oh, wow. immediate. I mean, it was like over winter break, but I mean, winter break. I'm like fully an adult. I've been a college grad for like, I, that was after I graduated, <laughs> you know, like winter break, the holidays. Well, anyways, we got our salted caramel froyo with what'd you get? Peanut butter cup? Yeah. And I got Heath Bar because it slaps. Happy Thursday, guys. We are one day away from Billy Bob's. I am so excited. My face has been so puffy all week. And I was like, maybe I should just use my like skinny confidential balls. And now. Like, it's still, like, puffy, but, like, there's, like, some... It's better, okay? I'm on my way to Pilates. Thursday mornings are my favorite because my podcast episode dropped, so the Summertime Sadness episode is up. If you guys deal with Summertime Sadness like me, or you just need a good podcast to listen to, you guys can watch it on our YouTube channel, which is linked below, or just listen. And you're listen to podcasts. World Tour's podcast drops, which is my favorite, one of my favorite podcasts. I have like a throwback Thursday hot Pilates class. I woke up this morning and instead of going on a silent walk, I read for like 40 minutes. Reading in the morning, it's just, oh my God. You know what I've been doing lately? I've been having an intuitive morning routine. AKA I have a couple morning routines and I wake up and I see which one I want to do. Um, and it's basically either, for the most part it is, I wake up, silent walk, go work out, you know, whatever. But sometimes I'm just feeling reading in the morning. And when you're feeling reading in the morning, there's no better thing to do. There's no better feeling, nothing. I'm reading a new book. We'll talk about that later. I need to pack today. I need to spray tan. I need a bunch of work to get a bunch of work done. And get my life together when I do that. home day ever I'm so cozy I'm wearing my favorite slippers obviously my Casper robe I'm actually making well it's like 11 now I just stopped working to make like an early lunch kind of one of y'all DM'd me to do cottage cheese with sweet potato and if you know me I love sweet potato so this is the best thing ever and I'm like really going through my farmers market honey I will say this is so much better than Store-bought, obviously, everything is better than store-bought. I also want to grill peaches today, and I probably should do it before my tan, and then, oh, chicken. Gotta get the chicken out of the freezer. You guys know the routine. I would like, have this thought that, okay, like, I love, where are the chicken? So, like, I love Thursday mornings. They're the best time of the week. My favorite podcast drops, my podcast drops. Best time. And then you have like the weekend to look forward to and it's all exciting and whatever, but you still have another night at home to like be cozy and read. And maybe I just like the anticipation. Maybe I like the idea of going and doing things more than I like them clearly because I prefer for it to be Thursday where I have all that to look forward to and I'm cozy at home. You know what I mean? I don't know. I also know that I've been drinking too much coffee lately, guys. I just like the heat has been taking me out. Like I just, I drink a lot more iced coffee in the summer because I can't do it. I really can't. Can't at all. I need a pack today. I really don't want to. Also, I feel like all my content is under on food. Like my Instagram story is like insane and all about food. So let me know if that's getting annoying. I just like don't get like fully dressed right now because I'm at home and it's 100 degrees out. So I'm wearing like cozy stuff because I don't, you know what I mean? Like I'm not getting ready. So I don't know. It's that or books, you know? Update on my skin looking a lot better. Telling you that hydrofacial saved me. I need bone broth later but it just looks so much better. I've also been using Primally Pure skincare recently and that's the serums I have on and I love this stuff. I've been using the cleansing oil for months, um, but I love the clarifying serum and the plumping serum. They have a lot of other products like body oils and stuff, but it just smells amazing. It's so good for you, love. This looks so good. I just threw sliced sweet potatoes in the air fryer at 400 for about like 10 minutes. Topped it with cottage cheese, honey, oh my god. Like basil, I'm sure it'd be great in here. Grating a few other things, but this just looks so good.
Okay, so I pretty much have my outfits picked out. I need to try some things on tomorrow. Um, it's a very quick trip. Honestly, it is harder to shop or to pack for a two, three day trip than it is for like a 10 day trip. Like, I don't know why I'm making this so complicated. But anyways, I'm gonna try on some things tomorrow just to make sure before I pack them. I have a spray tan now. I feel like a whole new woman. By the way, we have not talked enough about my new herb garden. So the one that I did a few weeks ago is now outside. My cilantro is growing. I just didn't feel like it was, didn't feel like it was the right one, okay? So this is the Arrow Garden. I got this on Amazon. Literally my entire vlog is because we're in the kitchen. But anyways, it like alerts you when you need to add plant food, add water, like the light to go on and off. And then I don't know why I have to put these little pods on, but we have like thyme, dill, um, basil, mint, and then like two other things I'm forgetting. But it looks amazing, and it looks like this is gonna be better for me because this stuff I actually need, like around one, it's helpful because it's like teaching me, but also it's just like more practical. So I just finished packing ish. Like, I have my stuff ready, but really, I'll finish packing tomorrow. I feel like I'm really in my glow up era. Once I get this blow up tomorrow, like, nothing can stop me, okay? If you guys are watching this probably on Sunday, I will be in Vegas, and we went for the Kelsey Ballerini concert, so there's a lot going on. Today, for my butcher box, it's, like, crazy that they do not sponsor me at this point, because it's, like, literally all I talk about. Um, I have ground bison, which, like, I've never made or cooked with ground bison. I could do something more elaborate, but I'm just gonna do a pasta tonight, because... I'm just not feeling like a ton in the kitchen. And also, I have these onions from the farmer's market and I just, I love them. They're so much better. I used them in my lunch today that I made um, for my like peach chicken thing. It was really good. So anyways, gonna do this, have it ready and prepare for tomorrow. Um, I'm recording some podcast episodes. I have to stop at DeNovo. We're doing some things. Marissa and I are finally recording together. And it's gonna be good. I also, guys, before, so I was working earlier, and then I like sat down for a second, I knocked out and took the biggest nap of my life, like an hour and a half, the best sleep I think I've ever had, and then I woke up and I had to go to spray tune. So I'm gonna be working tonight. <laughs> Love that. Okay, this looks fabulous. Rayo's aroused sauce, bison, ground bison from Butcher Box. I use Bonza pasta. This is such a like buzzwordy thing. And then also, I'm gonna have Olipops. This looks so good. Guys, it is finally time for me to do my mid year book roundup. I've been saying I was gonna do this forever. Yes, I have a Merry Christmas pillow behind me. I just like the color. I love needlepoint pillows. Also, by the way, I got a spray tan. Uh, that's why I look crazy. Currently four books behind schedule. I'm normally four books ahead of schedule. Um, so I'm gonna be getting back. That's like in the next couple of weeks. I need to be back on track. But I have been reading a lot again. I swear it's because I went through that One Tree Hill phase and I like couldn't stop watching it for weeks and I got behind on my reading. So my goal for the year is 75 books. So far I've read 30. I'm also gonna make this like a little bit faster and not like boring. Um, City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. Very similar to Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's the book that I would say is the most similar. I, it's one of my mom's favorite books. She got me to read it and I really did enjoy it. It also has amazing reviews. I like Seven Husbands better, but um, still a really good book. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This was the first like historical fiction I've ever read. It's set in World War II and it was really good. I really liked it. I'm not someone, I like to, I don't know. I like a lot of different kinds of books. But I wouldn't say it's like something that I'm like normally going for. But it's like a lot of people's like all time favorite book. I liked it. I, I didn't think it was like the only book I ever want to read again, but I liked it. It Girl by Ruth Ware. Unpopular opinion. It was just an okay thriller. Like I didn't, it got so much hype. It was like fine. Like I was kind of bored at points. I didn't think it was the best ever. The Rewind uh, by Alison Winscott. Don't read it. All the Dangerous Things by Stacey Willingham. I rated this four stars and I'm getting this confused with another Stacey Willingham book but I remember liking it, but liking her other one better. Movie star, Jessica Simpson's like Amazon thing that was like really short, it, like there was like really no point to it. That being said, I'll read anything that she puts out and like it. 
to love Jason Thorne by Ella Mays and to hate Adam Connor by Ella Mays. I said this recently on the channel. Loved both of those. The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden. Um, this book is literally The Mosses of Parish. The Lost Mosses of Parish did come first. Um, it's literally the exact same thing. So if you've read The Lost Mosses of Parish, it's the same structure. Still a really good book, and more importantly, it got it got me into Frieda McFadden, and I went on like a really like went all over the place with her. I like I read like I read like five of her books in a month. Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. I liked that one a lot. Um, the Inmate by Frieda McFadden. That's my favorite Frieda book. If you guys like thrillers, this one's crazy. There's so many twists and turns at the end. It almost gives you whiplash, but honestly, I really liked it. I read Jay Shetty's books, Eight Rules of Love. I just love Jay Shetty. Great book. Things We Hide From the Light, which is Lucy Score's second book in the Knock em Out series. Knock em Out, whatever, which is the Things We Never Got Over book. It just was not things we never got over, which this is what sucks about sequels, that like, you just go in with like such high hopes, you know what I mean? Um, it was like nothing to write home about. Okay, The Housemaid's Secret, The Housemaid number two. Um, I also read that one and I liked it, it was fine. I'm not obsessed with The Housemaid though, like, I, but if I hadn't read The Lost of Parish, I think I might have been, but it's like the same thing. The Perfect Sun by Frieda McFadden. I, read, I rated this a three star and I don't even really remember what happened. Oh, no, I rated it a three star because it made me feel like icky, you know? If you like want that kind of messed up book, if that's the one. Then I also read Do Not Disturb by Frieda McFadden. Um, this was good and it was like a cozier thriller that was kind of scary. Five Star Weekend by Ellen Hildebrand, which is now out. Um, I read this a few months ago and I've talked about it so much. I loved that book. Like, I don't know what it was about it that I just, it follows this woman who loses her husband on like literally day one. And then she has a house on Nantucket and invites five women or four women from different periods of her life to stay with her for the weekend. And she's like a food blogger. It's like a whole thing. I really liked the book. I've, I referenced it so much this year. I just, I love Ellen. I was listening to her new podcast today. Um, obviously, like, that's literally why we got to like, Nantucket and stuff. So then I went on an Ellen kick. I read The Matchmaker, um, which I rated four stars. I thought this is a really sweet book. If you guys don't know Ellen Hildebrand, she's, like, queen of beach reads. So if you guys need a book for a vacation, a book for the beach, a book for the summer, whatever, Ellen Hildebrand. Nantucket Nights, so weird. One of my friends here, I was at dinner, or I was at lunch with her mom, and this book came out in, like, 2002. Okay, this is a few months ago, and I finished it on, like, a Friday night. We were at dinner or lunch on a Saturday, and her mom was like, oh my god, I just finished an Ellen book, Nantucket Nights, last night. And I was like, me too. We read it, both read it in two days in the same time period, and we both finished it at the same time. And then we happened to see each other when she was in town the next day talking about it. Isn't that bizarre? The book was 20 years old. Anyways, I love that one. The Things We Leave Unfinished by Rebecca Jaros. This is the one that Margo, Maddie, everyone was talking about. Um, it's a really good book. I was bored. I will say the first like 40% of it, it was a slow start, which is tough, okay? But if you can make it in, it's a great book. I was, I literally, I was getting a spray tan actually when I finished this book and I had it at an appointment and stuff. I sat in the car in the parking lot to finish the book because I couldn't even drive the five minutes home because I had to finish it then and there. I cried, it was so good. Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. Literally my favorite author, every single book that she's ever read, I've rated a five star, or that she's ever written, I've rated a five star. So good, it's part of your world. The second book in the series, unbelievable. Her series aren't like chronological series, it's like pulling characters from different things, which I normally don't love, because I'm like attached to those characters. But for whatever reason, she does it so well, and I just, they're honestly just like standalone books though. The Rumor by Ellen Hildebrand, not my favorite of hers ever, but it was still like a good book. It's just like, they're just solid beach reads. Happy Place, Emily Henry. Okay, I actually loved this book, four or five stars. It's a little bit depressing, definitely, but I loved it. I loved Beach Read by Emily Henry. I hated the other two, and then I loved Happy Place. But Beach Read by Emily Henry was like one of my favorite books, so. In a Jam, don't read it. I read Hillary Burton's book from One Tree Hill. So I mean, listen, it's like right up my alley. I really liked it. Um, if you like Hillary Burton, or you listen to like Drama Queens, or any of that stuff, One Tree Hill, or you like livestock. Like it was a kind of a random memoir, but I it's like right up my alley. The On a Quiet Street by Serafina Nova Glass, unpopular opinion, three star book. Like everyone was like, oh my god, this is the best thriller I've ever read. And like it just like wasn't that good. Um Born to Shine by Kendra Scott, five star memoir, amazing. On On Fire Island by Jane Rosen, so good. I read that in one morning. 
Burn the, Bo Burn the Boats by Matt Higgins. Love that business book. Five stars, my favorite business entrepreneur book I've ever read. And then Charlie Love and Clichés by Ella Mays. Loved that book, four or five, I would say. So that's what I've read so far this year. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, as always, follow my bookstagram. I'm about to hop on a meeting with someone in a different time zone. So, bye. <laughs> Good morning guys. I have my Amazon set out, I'm going to my workout. Today is Billy Bob's day. I am so excited, like you have no idea. 7 a.m., I'm off to my workout. I'm just in such a good mood because today is Billy Bob's day. It's truly just the best day ever. You know, Billy Bob's is the largest honky tonk in the world. It's Billy Bob's day! It's Coronation day! Oh my gosh! We're both tan. What? Thank God. I still have tan last night at um, midnight. Yeah, you, she spam me at 2 a.m. Alright guys, today is a busy day. I went and worked out. I am ready. I'm going to get a blowout. I'm going to work from my blowout chair. And then I need to stop at DeNovo, hopefully, because... Lawrence is having a little pop-up. I just have so much that I need to get done today. And we're recording. Here's Fitz literally always on this couch. He thinks this is his room. He's giving like teenage boy don't wake me up energy right now. Back home, stop at DeNovo. Marissa's here. She ordered us Mendocino Farms. Best day ever. All right, guys. I'm finally ready to record. I just did my makeup. I did it like for tonight for Billy Bob, so... It's a little bit intense. It's not what I normally do for recording, drinking another coffee. Oh, it's my little thing. Um, this is a Skims top always. And then I just have these old pants on from Revolve that honestly, like I don't love unless I'm sitting. I don't even know if I like them when I'm sitting. We're gonna have to try it out. But basically when I record, I only wanna wear like specific colors, which I guess is most of my wardrobe anyways. And like a specific pant, like I want like a silk pant every single recording. And like, I don't have enough of those. So I've gotta figure that one out. But I've actually had such bad luck with cream pants. I ordered the first ones from Abercrombie, they came stained. The ones from Daily Drills are not flattering on me, but they are in black. So anyways, I was just looking at this guys. This right here is honestly, I would say 95% skims. Every single thing there besides like, the sweaters at the end and a couple tank tops are not skims. Um, anyways, people have been coming in and out. This is not, Macy does not understand how the closet works, guys. Shoot. People have been coming over for outfits for tonight and she just, silly, silly Macy, 23 year old Macy. My bag is pretty much packed for tomorrow. We checked in to our flight. I got this new set that you guys will see. We're vlogging Vegas, so you guys will see the whole thing. All right, guys. I am getting ready for tonight. We recorded, got all of our stuff done, and we're kind of on a time crunch. I've got like an hour to do a lot of things. I have to find a new outfit now. <sighs> it's just like, you know, all over the place. So we'll we'll reconnect, show you guys the outfits where we end off this vlog, give you guys our our thoughts, what we're doing. We're very excited, okay? All right, y'all, here is my final outfit for Millie Bob's. I had another one, but the skirt didn't fit, and it's so cute, so I need to return it and get the best size. But I'm just wearing this vest that Jess gave me. Um, the skirt is Aritzia. Oh, the skirt is Aritzia. I haven't worn it yet, and I've had it for so long. And then my Annie's, and then I'm just gonna wear my brown Prada purse that's out there. Um, I have like other stuff that I feel like would be cuter, but this is more like country and like I might as well wear it when I'm going to Billy Bob's. You know what I mean? So, love this. We'll show you Marissa's fit in a sec. And then we're off. I'm so excited. Like, honestly, my, I said this earlier when I was recording the Dallas podcast. Like, the best nights of my 20s have been spent on a party bus. Billy, to Billy Bob's or a Billy Bob's or honestly, it's got like, like years ago when I was like 22, 23. Years ago, years ago, as if that was that long ago. You know, whatever. Also used the Lux Unfiltered Body Blur, Body Glow. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. You definitely can in person. It's much, much better. Also, update, Coco's legs have been moving this week a little bit. Like, she's not walking, but she's moving her legs definitely. Like, she's getting movement back, and that's huge. All we could ask for. Thanks, girly. Oh, do you want to show your outfit? Marissa is literally wearing what I wore to my 23rd birthday. Well, and that was another party bus night. 
It's so cute. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, do you have lip? In my purse. Beautiful. Bye, girls. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. We'll be off to Vegas. If you guys want any Fort Worth content, it's all over TikTok. <laughs> all over my TikTok at this point and Instagram. So, oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, when the summer hits, I am just so, for lack of a better word, miserable. And I was working on gaslighting myself into loving summer. And it, honestly, it was working really well until it hit about 95 degrees. And now, like, all of my gaslighting work on myself is, it's no longer working. 